everyone. Welcome to the Bank Sasa Fashion. Today I'll be taking you on how to cut a cap sleeve. A cap sleeve is a very simple sleeve. It just covers a little of our ham here. It covers the bicep area. And it is very simple. It is a sleeve you can just put on your armless gown or top or when you don't have much leftover fabric. It's a sleeve you can just run to. Now I have my fabric here. Okay. These are the leftovers I have. What are the measurements we need? For this calf sleeve, you need your round arm measurement and the length. And um, the average length for calf sleeve is usually four. The average length is four. So if you don't want it to be too long and you don't want it to be too short, four is okay. So my round arm hold, I'll be using round arm hold round ham hole that i'll be using i'll represent it with r is 12 and the length i'll be using is four so now my round arm o is 12 i'll be subtracting two from it to make it 10 so it's the 10 that i'll be using because it will not go because it will not go around the sleeve it will just be stopping somewhere around here so i'll be removing two from it so subtract two from the 12 we have that is 10 10 divided by two we have five five here and our length is four plus the same allowance to join it to the main bodies that is half inch now, if you are turning it, if you are using this to turn it safe, you can add another one inch to it so that it will, at the end of the day, you have the form. But if you are turning it with a bias, you just need to have add another half inch here to make the so. This one, I will be turning this with itself, so I'll be adding one to it. So if you are using um, bias, you, or you want to weave it or something you can just add half or you leave it like that so I'll be adding another one inch to it so the one inch is here so this is the length I have I'll be that I'll be using now because I will still fold one inch in so with my width that I have here I will add half inch the half inch is for joining it to the bodies so it's very simple the next thing you do is just for you to bring out the shape the next thing for you is to bring out the shape now you have it now you may decide to shape it and you may decide to leave it here sometimes i shape sometimes i don't but for this one i want to shape it a little so i will just bring it here and you have it there so I just cut it out like this and um, you can cut it out like this if you are not shaping it but if you are shaping it you cut it out like this now the next thing you do is you notch this point you notch the upper point here once you notch it, if you are fixing it to your bodies, this is where you fix to the center, to your shoulder. You fix it to your shoulder. You fix it to your shoulder here. The center is what you fix here. Then you bring it down. So you start from the center so that it won't be more on one side than the other. And that is it. It's as simple as it can be. So I'll be using this to cut the second sleeve I'll be using this to cut the second sleeve just place it on it and cut like so and that is it this is your cap sleeve I'll be turning this in like this 
so that I will have something like this at the end of the day and I'm still taking half inch in so this is how to cut a cap sleeve thank you for watching if you find this video helpful please like comment share and subscribe thank you see you in my next video i love you bye